What's up, Modern Stedders? You know what day today is? Today's Friday. And you know what Friday is? Modern Stedder update. Woohoo! We're gonna start inside in the basement again today. Cause that's where we are. Right? Uh-huh. So last night we lost power for about two and a half to three hours. And we have some Icelandic eggs in the incubator. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that that didn't get disturbed and that they'll still hatch out. Leave it down in the comments below. Do you think the incubator being off for two to three hours is gonna mess up the hatch rate? The temperature and everything is good on the incubator now. We've got it going back again last night, so fingers crossed. Our kombucha that we flavored the other day is finished. It's nice, pretty, and purple. As you can see, we've drinking quite a bit of it already. That's definitely my favorite flavor so far. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's definitely my favorite flavor. Yeah. That's good, huh? Oh, and thumbs up for Olivia yesterday. She was a great helper helping us put up all the doors and windows in the outdoor off-grid kitchen. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to put a link to it right here. Now we gotta get all the feed to feed the animals. It'll be interesting to see how all the animals fared last night with all the rain and wind we had. You ready? Yep. Before we go see Rufus, let's check on the pig pen garden. Well, we'll get them after, but the garden's right here to the left. They all need it. This garden is doing awesome. Look how deep green those squash leaves are. We're getting a lot of cucumbers. I bet you we could go find and pick some. All of the squash plants are flowering out really good right now. Look at all those male flowers. We got a funky little summer squash, but we got let it get too much bigger. It'll be way too Ooh, seedy. Yummy. You can hold it. I see a big old zucchini. You get it? Oh wow. It's heavy too. You got it? Yep. We got a few more smaller zucchinis still going. But all the rain this year has just hit the squash plants hard. I mean, the plants themselves are just laid over. That's from all the rain we got last night. And it's been knocking off the flowers. So we're not having a huge abundance of squashes. We're having enough to eat and to freeze here and there. But we haven't gotten just a huge abundance. We're having a good year, just not a great year. We're having a good year with cucumbers. we have had really good luck with these. Let's go check on Rufus and his girls. So Rufus and the two black Icelandic chickens are doing really well. Blackie, I want to see if she does it. Hey, it's my finger there, Rufus. Hey, <laughs> that's my finger. I'm supposed to eat the grain, not the finger. They're doing really good. We've had good luck with these guys. They're beautiful birds, and I can't wait to see what hatches out in the incubator from them.
And thanks to Dennis's email last night, I came outside right before it started raining and put the sides down so the chicks wouldn't get soaking wet. Thanks, Dennis, but I'll tell you what, I came out here, it was just sprinkling, and as I was getting out here putting the sides down, I could watch the storm rolling. I got drenched by the time I got back in the house. But the chicks did well. It smells like a what? It kind of smells like a horse flying over here. Smells like chicken poop? No, it doesn't smell like poop. It smells like a lot of grain. Oh. Probably from all their body heat from having the sides down. I'll move them after I get the tie cut, yep. Okay, well I wanna try to see if I can help you. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, pull! 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 One, two, three! One more! One, two, three! Good job! All of it, but most of it. Okay. Hey. They want your food. They're Yum. not gonna hurt you, they're tiny. I bet you can. If you make a mess, they'll clean it up. Leave a little bit in the bucket. So the meat chickens are getting pretty big, and there's quite a few of them in there. Pretty soon we're going to divide them up and put some of the chicks in here into that chicken tractor over yonder. We're going to have to take the broody hen, put her back in New York City, and the two roosters, we'll have to send them to freezer camp. So we have two roosters here that are ready to go in freezer camp, and then the silky Rhode Island Red Cross can go back into New York City, and we can get some meat birds in this chicken tractor. Got it? I guess the ducks last night were hiding in the woods somewhere during the storm when I locked up New York City. Let's check on New York City's water reserves. Yep, they're pretty full. All that rain last night filled it right up to the rim. Look at that. Thank you. Yeah, you can dump out all the grain when you're ready. Turn it to your left. There you go. Do you do both? Nope. Did you get the ducks all fed? Yeah. Awesome. Then I put some grain out over here too. Cool beans. The garden's doing really well. Me and Olivia weeded the strawberries yesterday morning and they're looking beautiful. They're setting off some nice runners and we're gonna be getting a lot more strawberry plants out of them. Does that make you excited? Mm -hmm. Lots of strawberries next year? Yeah. Yeah, yum. The onions are looking amazing. We have quite a bit more time they can stay grown in the ground for and they are looking beautiful. We've had a very 
cool, wet summer this year. So I'm very pleased with how the garden is growing considering the elements it's been up against. The corn's doing great. Look how tall those are. Whew. Taller than us. This is some sweet corn. Up front, the shorter stalks are popping corn. And we got some nice ears going here too. You can see our pole beans growing up the corn stalks. Look at that, it's beautiful. The green beans are doing pretty well. We got some nice purple beans. The green ones are doing the same. Olivia was picking them and eating them fresh out of the garden yesterday morning, huh? Uh-huh. How was it? Good. Good. The beets have been very slow this year. And I'm, I am blaming that on the soil and the weather conditions. The tomatoes have come back beautifully. Both of the methods we use for the blossom end rot have worked perfectly. These plants right here, we put the lime on them and we have no more blossom end rot on these guys. And they're still producing a lot of new tomatoes. The peppers are doing amazing. We're loaded with peppers this year. Look at them all. That plant's got quite a few and so does that one. The cauliflowers, the, the cabbage. Oh, cabbage. It's coming along nicely. So is the cauliflower. We got some more cauliflower oh, popping up cauliflower. here. A little cabbage there. What's that? I smell the cauliflower. Carrots! I want to eat the carrots. These tomatoes right here, we use the Neptune Harvest tomato and veg formula to stop the bottom end rot. And they're doing amazing. Look how tall that guy is. These are just cracking from too much watering and inconsistent, and that's from all the rain we've gotten this year. But look at that, that's a big old heirloom tomato. That's gonna make a yummy BLT. And that one too, oh, they're beautiful. There's not many ripe ones on here right now. We picked them all yesterday. You wanna eat a carrot? Go ahead, pick one up. I don't think there's gonna be many much on it, but you can pick one out and see what it looks like. See, it's still tiny right now. But the greens look beautiful. We'll keep these growing for a while longer and hopefully we'll get some nice carrots. Look how long the taproot end of it is. That's gonna be a nice carrot once it's ready. It's actually really good. Tastes like carrot, don't it? Pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Good. We'll go give this to the pigs. I bet you they'll like it. Let's go see them. I guess we're gonna have to call and wake up the pigs so you can give them your carrot top. Come here, oh. Spots. Spots and Mrs. Spots and Mrs. Spots pigs. Come on. Mrs. Pigs in the pen. Come here. Look at all the apples that fell down last night from the rain. Want some food? I don't want to get up. She's sleeping nicely inside the IBC tote. There we go. Ah. Miss Libby's has got some stuff for you. The pigs are growing nicely. They have plenty of food out here with their automatic feeder out there to always have food for them. Lots of apples to choose from and plenty of greens and roots. And they're just growing great. They're huge. They got plenty of mud to roll in too with all the rain we've been having lately. The hay bale gardens are doing amazing and so are the potatoes but you can see there's a potato plant there and the ones in here they're laying down a little bit with all that rain we got last night. Ooh, whoa! Look it's at all the spaghetti. squash flowers. What's that? I think that's a white pumpkin we've decided. Mm. And then these right here, I'm pretty sure are gonna be spaghetti squashes. Oh yeah. That'll be spaghetti squash. And these are white pumpkins going. Oh, we have one here that's rotting. We have more that are going here. Oh, that's gonna be a beautiful pumpkin. There's another pumpkin right there. 
I mean, they are jamming. Let's see if we picked a lot of the summer squash and zucchini the other day, but we got some small summer squashes going. The plants are doing amazing. Oh, I see a zucchini. I think this one's been hiding on us. Yeah, it's not too big. It's big, but not terrible. Want to hold it? Thank you. It's heavy. It's heavier than the other one. Yeah, it is big, huh? A lot of little zucchinis. There's a big flower. There's another big one right here. Or medium size, I should say. That's a good eating one. The one Olivia has will be good for freezing, and that'll be good for eating. Okay, they're both heavy. Here's the outdoor kitchen. It's coming along nicely. In tomorrow's video, we'll be putting in the sliding windows and putting up some of the walls. But so far, we have the sliding doors, the glass windows in place in the front. We got that filler strip put in. If you wanna see the progress on it, we're gonna link a video right here and showing you how we did all that. And Olivia was a great helper, huh? We hope you enjoyed today's Modern Setter update. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up for Olivia and all her great help yesterday. Share the video, it really helps the channel grow. And we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna be doing three giveaways. So if you want, help share the video and help get the channel to reach 10,000 subscribers. And we thank you for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow where we'll be working on the off-grid outdoor kitchen at London Acres, a guide to modern home settings, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.